Hello, IB higher level economists. We know that before the 10 marker in each of your paper three questions, you're gonna have a selection of short questions. We know a lot of those will be calculation based, but a lot of them won't be. Some of them will be written questions, usually a two marker or a four marker. And this is where a lot of marks can be lost. Not enough weight is placed on these two and these four mark written questions. So there'll be no calculations at all for these questions. You just need to write in detail. Remember that these questions are marked in levels. You'll have a level zero, level one, and a level two. Your job obviously is to try and get into level two. Level two will mean you get two out of two if it's a two marker, or you get three or four out of four if it's a four marker. So naturally, we're aiming for level two. To get there, it's all about detail, maximizing your detail. That is the key thing. Whatever you can write, which is relevant to answering that question, which gives subsequent detail, you've got to make sure that you are doing it. That's the only way you're gonna get full marks. So the space they give you, it's there to use. You need to be writing proper detail. Now, if it's a two marker, for example, a definition, like we've seen in paper two, we know, look for two parts of that definition. Look to give an example, look to give an equation, if that's relevant for that two mark question. And that way, hopefully, you are nailing down that level two. If it's a four marker, you can't miss any anything out. You've got to give a full detailed, relevant explanation. That is so crucial. So all you have to do in your mind is think when a written two or four marker comes, it's all about detail. As long as you're giving it your best, you're writing as much detail as you can, then hopefully you're in level two, you're going to hit the top marks. You've got to make sure that you're focusing on what the question is asking naturally. So maybe highlighting some keywords in the question is a good idea so that your answer is focused in that sense. And just be careful because some of these questions might ask you to refer to a previous question or maybe using a previous answer, in which case if you see that wording, you have to explicitly quote whatever they're referring to from a previous question, quote that, or whatever your answer was to a previous question, quote that. If you don't do that, you're not gonna get the full mark. So watch out for that. And of course, know your theory well, all right? Paper three, um, it's not just calculations. We know there's gonna be a 10 mark essay to do as well, but these short questions are again, testing your economic theory. The reason they exist in paper three is that there are some small parts of the course that are hard to assess in paper one and paper two. So examiners like to go for them in paper three. Now this won't be a problem because when you're actually sitting your exams, your paper three will be intertwined with your paper one and paper two. So you should have all that theory already, but just make sure you're not going into paper three thinking all I'm gonna to need to do is do some calculations and then write a 10 mark essay per question. No, you've got these to prepare for as well. So make sure your knowledge, your theory is strong to get all of this nailed to make sure you can write in the detail necessary. Great stuff, guys. Let's move into now the big essay, the 10 marker in paper three. See you in that video. Thank you.